gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. I have been, because each one of our sat packs, our current sat packs come with a proof of life certificate. And that certificate is an affidavit. And the thinking has been, because I haven't fully completed it yet, I'm completing it now. So, and that's only done after the paperwork has been completed by the individuals who received the paperwork thus far. So they will get that shortly. I want you all to understand something. No other company would do this, but I will. Ladies and gentlemen, many of you have been hearing about people talk about the proof of life, and you've been hearing me focus and tell you that a corporate official, corporate agent, cannot prove your life. They cannot prove you are alive because they are civilly dead. They are in the capacity of a civilly dead person. Okay? You, having proof of life, are in the capacity of a living person. So a civilly dead entity cannot prove the life of a non-dead entity or a natural entity. Okay, here's the thing so that you can understand. Because as I said in the previous video, the state may breathe life into an individual corporation, but they cannot breathe life into a natural person. So the state cannot confirm whether you are alive or dead. Well, technically, can they confirm you're dead? Yes, because they do have jurisdiction over dead people. The same as Satan is the ruler over the dead. Not that he's the ruler over those in the grave. No, he's ruler over those who are spiritually dead, who are not spiritually alive. Don't believe me? Go back and look at the scriptures. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so that we don't get off topic, let me tell you what a judge said. We hold, and this is a group of judges, that the estate seeking loss of life damages, we're not worried about loss of life, we're worried about the estate, pursuant to section 16-62-101B, must present some evidence that the decedent valued his or her life, from which the jury could infer or derive that the value on which it could be based an award or damages which it could derive, which a jury could derive that the person, hey, here he was planning on doing this, he was planning on doing that, and because he was planning on doing this and doing that, his life was worth this much. While the estate of whomever this deceased person was urges that the mere proof of life and then death is sufficient, we disagree. The, the estate urges that the mere proof of life and then death is sufficient. That being said, we do not suggest that the evidence required be limited to direct evidence as circumstantial evidence may con certainly be used as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to this case because they're talking about the proof of life. The court said just the fact the person was dead, that's not enough to prove that they were alive. You know what I'm saying? The court said, no, we need more evidence than that. Circumstantial evidence, but evidence nonetheless. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why. Let's go back to that part because it was there. What you doing going all the way down? I didn't ask you to go all the way down to no bottom. We can go all the way back to the top. We started from the bottom, now we made it to the top. Okay, so we can, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm sorry. Hitting the left button, not the right button. You hitting the left button, not the right button? Yeah, I'm supposed to hit the right button. Damages for loss of life, seeking damages pursuant to Arkansas code, some evidence that the decedent valued his or her life, from which a jury, so ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to do proof of life, you have to provide proof that you value your life. Pay attention. Must present some evidence that the decedent valued his or her life, from which a jury could infer or derive that value on which it could base an award or for damages. While the appellant estate urges that the mere proof of life and then the death was sufficient. The Supreme Court disagreed. The Supreme Court did not suggest that evidence required be limited to direct evidence, as circumstantial evidence could certainly be used as well. Appeal error evidence, Supreme Court was not precluded from examining certain evidence. While the appellees argue that oral arguments that the Supreme Court could or excuse me, was prevented from considering any of the testimony of the decedent's surviving children in determining whether there was substantial evidence to support the jury's verdict because the appellant estate 
invited the circuit court to ignore all of the children's testimony, the Supreme Court disagreed. The Supreme Court, pay attention, could not construe the appellant's state statement to the circuit court to be that all the evidence it presented went only to the children's mental anguish, but that the evidence related to whether the decedent was a good mother went only to the children's mental anguish. Consequently, the Supreme Court was not precluded from examining the remainder of the testimony of the evidence presented. That's why you need affidavits. That's why you need an affidavit signed by these individuals stating that they have known you. They have to attest to your being alive, not just one day, but many days. So you want to have the people who are witnessing your life be not only family members, but other people who have known you, close friends, and to document this. That's your proof of life documentation. Wait, 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 hold on. What you doing? You ain't supposed to be giving people that type of information. Do you know how you're going to be helping all those people who are charging people for this information because they ain't done nothing like this before? No, wait, hold on. I'm going to give you something else, ladies and gentlemen. Proof of life? Proof of life. Do you want to know what the best proof of life is that many of you already have? It's called life insurance. Life insurance is not for dead persons. Life insurance is for the living. So if you have a life insurance policy that is current, then that's your proof of life, ladies and gentlemen. Your life insurance policy is proof of life. All you got to do is supply that with an affidavit. There's your proof of life. We're going to continue to give you guys information to help you out because, again, as I said in the previous video, that's my job is to help you. Okay? I will do the best I can to help you. I got to go because I got some problems, so I got to speak to y'all later. Goodbye.